SAFM News. Ahi ahi Marie. good afternoon. Kokori Fui Moono Toka Wingawa. Kote Rema Karaka, it's five o'clock. Simon Bridges has officially called it quits, exiting Parliament after 14 years. Seen as a surprise move by some, the National MP says he's leaving to explore commercial opportunities and to spend more time with his family. When asked if he was offered another job already, Bridges said it was too early to say, but that he was excited to explore the options. Simon Bridges' exit will trigger a by-election in his electorate of Tauranga, where Bridges ex- says he expects a two-way race between Labour and National, rather than see Winston Peters of New Zealand first gun for the seat, which he lasted in 2008. Dame Jane Campion has apologised to Serena and Venus Williams for saying what she described as thoughtless comments at the Critics' Choice Awards. Campion recently won Best Director at the Critics' Choice Awards for The Power of the Dog, beating out the five male counterparts, including Steven Spielberg. During her acceptance speech, she made comments towards the iconic tennis duo saying they are such marvels, but they do not play against the guys like she has to. Her comments sparked criticism online, which resulted in Campion apologising by saying her comments were thoughtless and expressed her admiration for the sisters for opening doors for women in the sports industry. Overseas now, Julian Assange has been denied the right to contest extradition to the United States. Assange, known for creating the infamous website WikiLeaks, has been denied the right to appeal the extradition decision made by the Supreme Court, with Assange expected to face espionage charges in the US. Assange is responsible for leaking thousands of classified documents on WikiLeaks, including the content stolen by Edward Snowden, who also fled the United States. He is expected to face trial on 18 counts relating to WikiLeaks exposés, with US officials saying the leaks put lives in danger. If found guilty, he could face up to 175 years in prison. And finally, a live news broadcast was interrupted by an anti-war protester in Russia earlier this week. A woman ran up behind a newsreader with a sign reading, quote, No war. Stop the war. Don't believe propaganda. They are lying to you here, unquote. The stunt took place on Russia's pro-Kremlin Channel 1, which is state-owned and relied upon as a main source of news for millions of Russians. The woman has been identified by a human rights group as an employee of the channel, with sources now saying she's been arrested since and now faces up to uh, sorry, faces charges of up to 15 years. Aratekawe Purongo, that's the news. Just back to Assange real quick. Yeah. 170-something years in prison. Up to, yeah. It'd be quite radical if there's like a new prison system that actually keeps people alive to punish them. Like he actually lives like another hundred and... <laughs> that, that's, that's really interesting, right? Like you've got all of these prison terms with that just go so far on. It's like... <laughs> it's about as ridiculous as the chat. <laughs> yeah, right sure. On. Yeah. Now, your 95 BFM traffic report. Kinga waka haere o ngā huanui mātawa o Tamaki Makoto mo te Rima Karaka. Your traffic report for five. Oh, mate, it is so clear. Let me just tell you how clear it is. State Highway 1 northbound. There is a bit of heavy traffic, but it's only between Takanini and Papakura. Elsewhere is totally clear. Southbound, you're looking real good. Top to bottom. Very nice. State Highway 16 eastbound. That's clear. So was westbound too. State Highway 20, southwestern, northbound, is totally clear, along with southbound too. This is very nice to see. Do you think it's the petrol or or the COVID? Uh, I reckon it's both. I'm, you know, we saw this before the petrol prices started to hike up. Mm. Um, So I I reckon it's just a little, it's a little bit of both. Did the gas get like a little bit cheaper the other day as well? Yeah, so they removed 25 cents uh, per litre off. Oh, the government stopped taking like half of their half, basically, yeah. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. I mean like 44% of what you pay at the pump is like mm, taxes. It's getting a bit embarrassing, wasn't it? At, yeah. the, at the same time Cause... though, it's like one of their only like things that they can do, realistically, mm. you know. So. Yeah. yeah. Good on them. A lot of roadworks going on. Keep the country moving. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez, roadworks. Good job, boys.
I think that's what it means, basically. I guess so, maybe. Is that the traffic? Pretty good? That's the traffic. Very good, very nice. A 95 BFM weather update. And then our tohu, huarere mō tēnei rā, your weather report for Ratu, Tuesday the 15th of March. Fine and mostly sunny, then chance of a later shower, although if you look outside your window right now, it doesn't look like that, but, you know, it could come. Humidity is at 61%, it's currently 25 degrees, an overnight low of 15, if we're lucky. Sunset should be coming in at 20 to 8. And then our tohu, huarere mō ngā atu rā e toru, your outlook for the next three days, ra upper, fine, less humid, and becoming mostly sunny with late cloud, light south southeasterlies there, and sea breezes. Ra pare Thursday, fine and mostly sunny, southeasterly winds there, and sea breezes as well. Ra mere, Friday, partly to mostly cloudy with a few showers possible, easterly winds there, and sea breezes as well. That was your news, traffic, and your weather. Kokori Foimono a ho. It is now 5.06, but we should have some surf somewhere. We do. Did uh, you get the email? Or no. otherwise I can recite the scores off the top of my head. No, you didn't You didn't send them through, mate. You didn't send okay. it to me either. From the dark room to the green room, it's the 95 BFM Surf Report, thanks to ProGear Photographic. Great. Nobody's got the surf report. All right, Corey, it's looking good on the West Coast tomorrow morning. Uh, six out of ten in the morning. Wait a minute, Corey, are you listening? Nice. Yeah, I'm listening to this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. John's teaching you the surf. And uh, the East Coast, not so good. Two out of ten. Easy, ah, small conditions. Always like this. East Coast, what's going on? <laughs> it's very us versus them, isn't it? Uh, and Pete alluded to a good run, which is coming up on the West Coast. So we've been pretty lucky with the waves on the West. Nice. Uh, is there like technically a North Coast right at Cape Ranga, right where the oceans meet? Is there? North Coast. Are we allowed to do that? Maybe There's a wave there at all times, basically. The east and the west coast are both smashing together and making a cute little north coast as well. Can Pete actually talk about a, a spot like that? Yeah. Can we get north Pete? Facing, so, maybe? Can we get yeah, Pete on yeah. the line at some point? Yes. We'll, hang on. Okay. Ah, fuck, not there. He's not there. Okay. So that's just a dead Damn. phone line. I don't know what I was thinking. I just assumed that Pete's there at all times. Ah, oh, right, right. Sorry, mate. That's all right. I'm, I mucked up again. I let you down again, Corey. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha